Robin Maria Trading. Today we're going to give you our six trade a day challenge. We're going to tell you exactly what the trades are. Our fund is going to be putting on this week. This is just so you can follow along. It's not financial advice. On this challenge, we had a lot of people tell us that our funds were too big for them to follow along. We do about 125 trades a day in our big funds we manage. So we started this $30,000 fund back on September 1st. Today it's got 38,022. I looked in it at it today and it's, it's up about 27% in 75 days. Now that's on pace for 130% annual rate of return, but we know that's not normal. Now here's Maria to tell you how we're going to be trading this week. Okay. So they're all going to be the same. You're going to, you're going to go ahead and put a dollar 85 call credit spread. You're going to do a dollar 85 put credit spread a 95% stop loss on the call credit spread and a 95% uh, stop loss on the put credit spread. No profit target. That's right. Now, do not rest your stops at the robot website. Do not rest your stops at the broker. You want to rest your stops at the CBOE electronic book if you can. And if you can do an OTO on the long legs, then ooh, please ooh. be sure and do it. And here are the times for this week. 1201, 1317, 1442, 1502, 1516, and 1523. The gambler's bonus is 1551. So the average buying power will be about $5,000 per spread, $2,300 on the gambler. And remember, this challenge is just so you can follow along. Oh, and I'm very excited. Four times a year, I get super excited because it's NVIDIA earnings <laughs> Wednesday on the 19th. And if you go ahead and look at our next video, I'm going to show you what I'll be doing for those trades. I'm pretty excited to see that. Thanks a lot. Have a great trading day.